G'day everyone, welcome to my channel. We're going to continue on with the build for the Waterfall Envelope Journal that I have started. Now, I did go back, I couldn't handle these guys being upside down, so I did go back and I reprinted them and cut them the other way around, so with the envelopes, but they are now in there and I've got some random paper clip that's obviously fallen off somewhere. Um, and so forth. This one I haven't gone back and reprinted, so I can't guarantee I won't. I'm like, I can kind of live with this one being upside down, but I couldn't live with the faces and all being upside down. So I've gone back and I've reprinted them and just cut them out the opposite way. So we've got, that'll be where that other paper clip is from. Hey. Hold on. Let's fix it up. Maybe, maybe not. Gotta find where it goes. There it is. That'll be just a, it's obviously, it's just there at the moment temporarily as an idea. So what we're going to do today is continue and we're going to make <coughs> some, we call them manila folders here down here, but fool's cap folders, but file folder inserts. And what I have used is a fool's cap file folder, so just your, your general fool's cap file, file folder, um, that will measure across, it will measure, mm, nearly nine. Go for 18, 18 and three quarters inches, kind of across, around about that. So it kind of gives you an idea of what I use, just simply because I have a lot of them and it was easy to utilize them as um, and continuing on using up stuff I've got. So, what we're going to make are some inserts. Now, these have been designed that they're going to go between the envelopes so there'll be three in total and they will sit into here and go into there and when you we put them down you can't see them is the design of them so they'll sit in underneath the envelope so there'll be one there one there and so forth and then in these ones we will put journal pages so that will be the design of what we're doing but let's have a look at how they look and what I did all right <clears throat> so I've got this one here they're both very similar in design and then they open up and they've got that so we've got corset pockets on the front and the back and then we open it up we've got some little side pockets here and then these inside flaps will open out and we've got some corner tucks here this is a waterfall that you can use um, for photos or journaling so I've kept it blank in there but they will fit standard size photos or um, journaling space so it's all kind of been put into there and then open it up and then there's a large pocket in underneath that will fit some stuff in there and then over here I've got a belly band and it's a double belly band so there's actually two slots so one and then two so we've got a double belly band there and another little corner top so that is that one and then we've got this one again which is very very similar it opens up I haven't filled it with any bits yet of to show you that will come as it's finished but in this case, I've put the double belly band over on this side. Um, you can see there that it's a double belly band easier. And then I've made extra pockets here and we've got a little side tuck there. So yeah, so that's um, what we're going to do. So today's going to be a quick one because it's just going to be the cutting guide of what you need to cut it to be prepared. And we'll come back and decorate it in 
a couple of videos probably because I imagine the course is going to take a fair chunk of time and then um, I'll show you what we're doing. So I've made them eight inches high because that's the height of the envelopes. Um, so we've got that one here. So this is straight from the, um, what's it called? Fool's cap folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. So short edge here, open it up, hold it along there, and I'm going to score quarter of an inch. So quarter of an inch along here, and that will give us the spine to allow us to attach it to the base. Then I'm going to do from that five and a quarter. So we've got half and then five from that. Oh, brain! It, it is actually 2.30 in the morning here. Uh -huh. It's been so hot that I haven't wanted to film or do anything. And I woke up early this morning and I thought I may as well get a video done. So we've got Five and a half. Five and a half. Yes. So that's five and a quarter. Like math is not computing at this point in time. All right. I'm like, did I do that right? Does it look right? It does. Okay. I'm like, my brain's just not, not coping. Okay, and then from this centre crease, um, not the quarter inch crease, but the, the original centre piece, we're going to come out, this one's a bit easier, we're going to come out five and a half. So you'll find that one side is a quarter inch um, longer than the other. That is by design because when we put it into the waterfall album and we have got the um, spine in, we still want it to fit within the envelopes. I didn't want it to be seen. So I've made the bottom one quarter of an inch shorter so that when it kind of is in there and it folds over and we go like that, they actually match up. So that's, that's by design that they do that. Okay, so they are over there. Now, rounding the corners, I'm using the 7mm um, corner rounder. I found that that matched the um, original corner round the best. You could probably go 10mm and it would work just as well. But yeah, so I've got that. And yeah, but if you've got one of those fancy files holders with the divots and stuff, work with it. I unluckily don't get them here in Australia, which is a bit sad because they look funky and they look pretty cool, but um, don't get them. So that's our base. Then we've got the um, pockets that go on to the front. One is six and a half by five and the other is six and a quarter by five and we're going to score on all three on three sides and go but um but um and but um and then while I'm here so this is the six and quarter I'm just going to make a mark up to that um score line of just at three and one eight. It's just my center point. It'll let, it'll come in handy later on. Okay, so got that. And then I've got another one, the six and a half one, I'm going to repeat that. So one, two, three, but this time I'm going to make that three and a quarter. So that's my center point. Alrighty. What we do then is, with these guys here, I'm going to flip it over and get that out of the way. I'm going to come in two inches from the edge, make a mark, and two inches from this edge, 
and open that. And then from that line that we've, we've scored in the center, I'm going to come up one inch, make a mark, and then I'm going to join these together. And then I've worked it out for the eyelets. If you want to do eyelets, obviously you don't have to, but I've worked out that I come in about quarter of an inch and then quarter of an inch from the first, so here, and then every three quarters of an inch after that. And it seemed to just fit just nice. So I've got that one. So again, about a quarter of an inch in from the from the line, and starting at quarter of an inch, and then one, one and three quarters, two and a half, three and a quarter, and four. And they are the lines that we've got. So I'll do the next one again. I still stuck with two. I wasn't going to change it just because it's a quarter of an inch smaller. You could if you wanted to, but you don't see them together. So I'm like, it's okay. One's just a little bit tighter than the other. One cinched it in that little bit extra. Coming up an inch. Make that a little bit tighter on them. Okay. Come down. Come down. And the same method. So, <clears throat> coming in about a quarter of an inch quarter and then working in three quarter increments all the way down and then across to this side starting off at quarter and then working in three quarter increments big words are hard for me most of the time but this time in the morning extra hard okay so we've got those ones ready to go. Now we can fold and remove the corners. The other ones. And remove the corners. Oh, scissors at this time in the morning. Oh, probably not the best. Now, now I'm going to get out a cutter. It's probably going to go even worse. Uh, to cut that out, you could use scissors. Um, we just saw how badly I'm going to go there, but I'm probably going to go just as bad here. I'm going to use my little mini cutter. And basically, I'm going to line it up um, in here. So I've got that lined up. And that up. And then I'm going to come over to this one and do the same. Just lining that up. And without yeah, the little scissors, maybe if it comes off the magnet. Um, and just check oh, the listen, I'm just gonna pull it out. Okay. Got that one, and then we're gonna do the same one, this one, this one too. Uh, Oh, that one, I lined that one up pretty good. Okay, up. And then... This one. I don't think this one's going to be lined up very well. No, that was not too bad. Okay. And this goes up. And then we go... And there we go, we've got our the B of our corset ready to go. Okay, 
I'm going to rub out. No, I'm not because I don't know where my razor is. There it is. I'm going to rub off my pencil line here, my pencil mark from the measurements off from that just so I don't forget later on. Okay, so we've got them. So at this point, we've got our main base and our two corset pockets ready to go. Then we're going to come in and once you cut the um, main base, you're left with a little bit left over. I've cut that at four and a half, so chunk chunk, and then chopped it off at eight. So we've basically just got a foldery thing. Okay, technical terms. This one, what we're going to do is we are going to come in and get envelope punch board. Now this obviously is not a necessity. Um, it's just I have have it, so I'm like I'm going to use it. So I'm going to come in two and a half inches from the score line and go like that. And then I'm going to go two and a half inches from the edge. There we go. And get my little cutter out again. And I'm going to cut that little bit off. And we've got a little our pocket cut out. Alright, this is what we're going to build the waterfall on. And I've used like we've kept these two half inch score lines there because that'll just help later on with lining up. But now I've got four. So this was four and a quarter by eight. Okay. Now these ones are going to be four and a quarter four and a quarter by six and three quarters. Okay, so four and a quarter by six and three quarters. And we're going to score at the half inch to make our hinge. So one, two, three, four. And now I'm on my second folder now to do this. <clears throat> and some of them have got the corner at the bottom, so I decided, well, I'm going to use that and I'm going to round every corner. So one, two, And then I'm also going to round the corners of the top flap with this just to keep with consistency. And we've got that. So they that will be our waterfall mechanism. Yeah. We've got waterfall within waterfalls. It's like inception. Waterfall envelopes. Waterfall flips. Oh, look at this go. Okay. So we've got that piece and that's going to go inside here and then go be attached into that area there. <clears throat> okay. When I did it, I was left with this piece um, and this is about two inches wide. The measurement doesn't really matter. It's, it's for the belly band. Um, I cut one of the flats off at eight. And then all I'm going to do is fold up this one over it to find my hinge and then fold it up underneath and that would become our double belly band. Okay, so it's about, hang on, it's about two by, so approximately two by eight. Um, <clears throat> but it doesn't really matter. Okay, when I cut the... Um, six and three quarter by four and a quarter pieces. I was left with this bit at the end with the folds. And I'm going to make these into our little 
side ones, so these guys here, the double side pockets. Um, measurements, if you aren't using tools cap and all of that, is they are four and a quarter, well clearly four and a quarter because that's what I was cutting the other ones at, four and a quarter by five. Well that works out pretty good. And it's been scored at two and three sixteenths. So around two and a quarter would work. Um, make life easier for yourself, or two. Um, so we've got that, and there's two of them. Okay, what, I'll write it there, so it was four and a quarter by five, and then scored at the two and, I'm just going to say a quarter for ease, two and a quarter mark. So that's kind of what we've got for that one. Okay, we got two of them. And also I've got that was left over was this, there was a bit of a chunk left over and I've cut it down to be, so this is five and three sixteenths. So just under five and a quarter because it needs to fit in here. So I've made it just shy of five and a quarter, so it'll fit within the score lines. So five and three sixteenths. You could go five and an eighth. It doesn't really matter as long as it's fitting within. And I made it three and a half inches wide. <clears throat> so, so in total, it would be five and a quarter by seven. So that would be scored at three and a half to fold it in half. But what I'm actually going to do is take advantage of the natural score lines and I'm going to fold it on the next score line and that drops it down. So now I've got a stepped pocket. So this actually then becomes three is where we're going to score it at. So we'll have three and four, two separate parts. So we've got three here and four at the back. Um, envelope, little punchy outy thingies again. I, got, I know, again, technical. <coughs> um, I don't even know what measurement I use. Go on by that, it looks about my inch and a half. So let's go an inch and a half. I'm just going to bring them back together so they line up. So we've got an inch and a half. Plump. Turn it over. Inch and a half. Plump. And then bring them back my little cuttery doodaddy thingy. that in and cut that out and we've got those two little pocket divity thingy diggies ready to go and that's it so when we come back to put it together we will have this here these go on that this goes here the belly band will go here Folds it over, the side pockets will go here, fold it in, and our corset pockets will go onto the front and the back. So that is the cutting guide, the scoring guide for our little file folder insert. I'm going to leave it there. We'll come back in another video and start the decorating of it. And yeah, awesome. Thank you for being here. Um, as always, remember, be kind, be strong, be a warrior. And I will see you later. Bye.